Say what? I don't understand this right here, but listen. I don't have to understand it, right? My Philadelphia Eagles, no doubt about that, need defensive help, right? Specifically in the defensive backfield. Several injuries across multiple positions, right? But when you get, you know what I'm saying, a text or whatever like that from a buddy talking about, y'all sign Julio Jones? I'm like, what? Julio Jones? And there it is. The Philadelphia Eagles have signed wide receiver Julio Jones. Now listen, this is a cat that I've covered, right, in the past for, for several teams, right? He's not Julio Jones that you know of. He's not the Julio Jones of old. He's an old Julio Jones. But even an old Julio Jones can help any team. Undoubtedly like that, right? You're going to have a lot of people poo-poo on this because it really does not make any sense. Uh, obviously, uh, last time I saw, we saw him, right, was with the Bucks. Uh, when healthy, though, he was still doing his thing, right? He doesn't have to do any type of heavy lifting on the Eagles. I'm not sure how many balls he even catches on the Eagles, but definitely somebody uh, to have in the fray there. Um, obviously, a huge, a huge friend in A.J. Brown, who Julio Jones is an idol to. Uh, they played together in Tennessee. And I remember A.J. Brown having a ton of interest in going to Alabama, much, like, much off the strength of, of wanting to be like Julio Jones, right? He plays very similar to a Julio Jones as well. Um, man, I just got to know what people was thinking about this, right? I was looking at some old Julio Jones stuff, right? All right, here. so this is irrelevant, obviously. <laughs> it's been a long time past there since uh, Julio Jones has been Julio Jones in Atlanta, but he should have a great rapport, great rapport with uh, your boy Devontae Smith, another former Alabama Crimson Tide player there, and we know about him and A.J. Brown. Julio Jones is a football intelligence savant, right? FBI off the charts. He should pick up the offense very quickly. Uh, definitely be able to move him all up and down the guitar string as far as the wide receiver core goes. Uh, having him in a tight slot, right, with A.J. Brown or whomever, Alameda Zacchaeus in a slot or Quez Watkins right there. Uh, having him go against safeties and linebackers and shit like that. That could be very intriguing, especially with the way that Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown can work outside. It can work the uh, yak game and all that. There's just a lot of talent right there. And a guy like Julio Jones still has that speed, though, which is something that I noticed in Tampa right there. Uh, it's been a long time since him and Marshawn Lattimore were battling and all that, but that used to be fun to watch. You talk about somebody who could absolutely take it to Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, your boy Julio Jones was definitely that. They would give each other that work. And look at this. Bang! Come on, man. Breaking them tackles. You know I can't show much of this right here. I don't even know why I'm doing it right. I'm about to get a strike there. But having this man work the middle of the field right there, uh, later on in his career, he became a, a, a very good route runner, in my opinion, right? Whereas early, it looked like it was mostly about his strength and his abnormal speed there. But uh, guy is a Hall of Fame talent, man, who can work the yards after the catch game right there. I wonder what jersey number he'll pick uh, with A.J. Brown in town. Um Man, is eight available? I don't know, but it should be fun, man. He's not even really trying to shoot the hand, right? He's not even want the chicken fighting stage with him, right? He gives him a free release and tries to see if he can mirror. Look at Julio. Very subtle right there, right? Chop the hands, get the leverage. Now, in a straight foot race, Julio Jones is faster than just about everybody, but this may be the guy that could pop, perhaps be his equal, right? So you see Jalen Ramsey really trusting his speed. He's thinking, all right, right now, this could either be a slant or he, or it's an out or something like that. So you can see him slowing up and playing for that possibility instead of just reacting. So he slows his gait. And Julio still got it in six gear. So look at the separation now. Now he's having to try to uh, re-gear up, right? too late especially with a guy like matt ryan throwing the ball that's why your difficulty difficulty of task is phenomenal because you got one of the best quarterbacks uh on a year in and year out basis throwing the ball so the ball is usually going to be pretty perfect and this is what this is but you see uh he starts to make up a little bit of ground right there but it's too little too late hell of a play by julio jones this kind of a mismanagement of route recognition by jalen ramsey yeah, so just an out route, right, going against. That's what will be open against a cover three, especially with that much spacing. So, boom, out route, stuck his foot in the ground, baked him, right? Baked lays. Baked him like some potato chips. 
All right, so this is the thing about the three deep coverage. He has to play man within a zone confinement. So he gets baked real good right here on the stem. Look at Julio with the crossover stem. Uh, Ramsey bit the post. Now he has to turn and swing his hips. Now look at that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it when you're a professional. I remember this thing that I did with Derek Stingley earlier. And people were talking about, oh, man, he did a speed turn. Like, man, get the hell out of here. You're going to freaking turn your whole body around when you got somebody like this. What you need to do is cut down the circumference by flipping your hips. And look, you can get back in the play. Now, he doesn't get in the play. But if he would have turned his body all around, it would have been much worse than this. But at least he had a chance to, to stop the game, get him out of bounds. Obviously, he got up on this one and he didn't want to look. All right, top of the screen, back on Mono Imano. I think Renzi still has his mouthpiece swinging from his helmet. Look at this. Uh, curl. Bad pass by Matt Ryan, but he got he got Jalen on this one. So Fox doesn't have one for this one right here, but see if we can kind of dissect it a little bit. All right, so. He shoots the jam, right? He shoots it kind of late. Well, he shot it exactly when you would want to shoot it against somebody like Julio. So maybe you don't see this right now. Uh, maybe I could zoom in here. But he has the left hand to the right portion of his body to additionally ride him out to the sideline. Let that sideline be your friend. Stay in his hip pocket. Look at him right on him. Right in his hip pocket. Doesn't overrun Julio to where he's on top of Julio. But he has to be able to stick that foot in the ground and transition when Julio does. Julio got him on this one. He came out of the transition much better. I think he subtly pushed off, right? And his subtle push off is going to be a big push off because he's so big and strong. So you can see the separation created here. Uh, Jalen Ramsey didn't have a chance. He's just lucky. Damn, look at the separation anxiety right here. That's a ton of separation. Bad pass by Matt Ryan. He probably was under the rest. I'm not even going to look. I can... <laughs> Pretty much guarantee he was under some type of duress. Top of the screen. This time a deep dig. Would they motion Julio into more of a tighter split? To more of a cut split? Right with him though. All right? So let's go in full speed. So obviously when he's in motion like that, you're not going to be able to jam him. Man, crazy separation on this one. Yeah, I know Ramsey probably wants that rep back. Let's run it back. Hard to jam somebody who's in motion like that, so that's why you do that. Look at the transition, right? Running like he's stemming it upfield. This could be anything. This could be a post, right? It could be a post, but you usually wouldn't run a post into a single high coverage. Um, but if you snap that foot and stem it correctly, you can create a lot of, look at that. Look, a lot of separation on this dig. <laughs> that's a ton of separation, man, so. Top billing. Top billing.